Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. I hope you're doing all great. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's up? Thank you very much for being here. Are you ready? Yes. 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 There we go. So guys, what was yesterday's topic? ¿Cuál fue el tema de ayer? Simple past. Uh -huh. Simple past with B. With B. Yeah, kind of mixed, but it's actually with B. Now, um, who can give me an example using the past of B? A question. A question. Mm -hmm. you, <laughs> you practiced that a lot <laughs> yesterday. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Mm -hmm. Was One breath. you teacher take? Okay. Okay. Was uh, you teacher take a shower now, today? That's a very personal question, Jader. <laughs> no, but yes. Um, how do you say te bañaste hoy? Yes. Uh huh. Did you take a shower? Did you take a shower? Mm -hmm. Was you take a shower today? Mm. Did. No. Oh. Vamos a hacerle un, un... I'm going to give you a little tip. When you are using the verb to be, estabas, estuviste, with all of those, we are going to use the past of be. Okay? With the other ones, we are going to use did. Con todos los demás verbos, we're going to did. use did. Okay? Okay. So let me see. I see a new face. I think so. Andrea Beltran, is this your first class? No, yesterday. Yesterday ah, was my first class. Nice. Huawei P10. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why I see you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So as you can see, she said yesterday was my first class. Okay. Which we could say something like my first class was yesterday. Okay, but yes, Mine. thank you very much, Andrea. It's a big difference between P10. Okay, so today, my dear friends, remember, um, we covered simple past for different for several days, and it is very important for you to practice this tense and for you to learn vocabulary. Okay, so structure, always try to practice it. So let's go ahead and cover today's class is similar and is related to past. Está relacionada con el simple past. Let me share here. Here. So go ahead and repeat me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson, Lesson objective. objective. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to. Build, build English, English conversation skills with the phrase used to. used to. Which you can use to describe your childhood or past. Which, Which you can use to describe your childhood, childhood or past. past. Or past, correct. By the end of this class. By the, by the end, end of this class. Of this class. Of this class. Now, note. Here it says, you will be able... But remember, mm -hmm. I always try to contract so you can get used to. Okay, so I'm gonna say, you'll be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Go. You'll be, you be, able, be able, able to form statements, form statements, statements and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, Learn English, English phrases like, like. I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. I used, I used to, to be, be very, very messy, messy when I was, was a kid. Was a kid. Now, now, now I'm very, very neat. Neat. Good job. Neat. 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 And. And. and I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. I didn't use the follow newspaper every day. An oral English comprehension exercise is included. An oral English comprehension exercise is included. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, thank you. Remember, it doesn't matter that I cannot hear you all. What you need is to practice. So let's go ahead and watch the used to video. And when it finishes, we're going to go through different examples. So go ahead and mute your microphones, please, and pay attention to the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play 
a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject, then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how. Right, guys, so before we continue, so we can have a break, we're going to work with the structure and give a couple of um, examples, okay? Now, who can tell me what is the meaning of used to? Does anybody know? Solia. Solia. Uh -huh. Exactly. Do you still do those things? Todavía las hacen? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Not anymore. So, as you can see, the structure is uh, quite simple. Not easy, but quite simple. Okay? Now, I'm going to mention a few. I used to skate. Yo solía patinar. Not anymore. Okay? Also, I used... To party. Party can actually be used as a verb. If you notice here, it's verb in the present, which is the base form. Es el verbo en la forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos el solía. I used to. Not anymore. What about you guys? Would you mind mentioning things that you used to do and you don't do it anymore? Anybody? Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, I used to straighten my hair uh, when I was young. Okay. And, and what uh, is what is the verb that you're using? Uh, I use strength. Strain. Straight. Uh, como alisar. Straight. Creo que se pronuncia. Ah, okay. <clears throat> now, to be honest with you. I don't have I don't have long hair, so I'm not really <laughs> sure about the right vocabulary. The one that I know is I used to iron, which is plancharte el pelo. Okay, this is the okay. one I know. But if you if you want if you say it, I will have to double check it, but I'll keep it. Straight, uh, straight, straight my hair. Okay. When I was uh, when I was young mm -hmm. and. Now I uh, um usar el used uh, no no sé cómo usar <coughs> el cabello rizado. But now I have curly and hair. And now I have I have curly hair. Okay, nice. Um, yo solía alisarme el pelo, pero hoy lo ando colocho. Okay, nice. Yes. So, guys, vamos a hacer un quick recap acá. Yo sé que los videos están en inglés, hay cositas que se nos van, y siempre me gusta hacer un recap de todo. Si algún día ustedes no entienden algo, pues, pues, hombre, tío, dígame, no soy de los socados, no, solo inglés. I mean, I understand. So, prácticamente lo que vamos a hacer es, ocupamos un sujeto, cualquiera, I, you, he, she, it, um, Claudia, José, Noemí, Berta, etc. Used to, solía, Esto no va a cambiar. ¿Solía qué? ¿Cuál es la acción que solía hacer? Luego vamos con el verbo. Y luego el complemento. ¿Ok? Now, I used to skate, but... I started working. Aquí ustedes pueden meter otros tenses. I used to skate, but I started working. And I didn't have time anymore. Yo solía patinar, pero empecé a trabajar y ya no tenía tiempo. You know, responsibilities. Etc. So, I want... A couple more, a couple more examples. Quiero que me den un par de ejemplos más, por favor. Me. Okay, give me a second. Who said me? Carla. Carla. Okay, Carla. Okay, go ahead, Carla. Can I use have, right? Yes, yes, you can. Okay. I used to have braces. Okay. But now... My smile is perfect. 
Ah, nice. <laughs> okay, but now, my smile is perfect. So, yeah, as you can see, good example, Carla. We can mix tenses. Una vez ocupemos el used to, lo demás depende de lo que ustedes quieran decir. Okay. Yo solía ocupar frenos, pero ahora mi sonrisa es perfecta. Yo solía ocupar frenos um, y no me importó mostrarlos. And I didn't mind about showing them. So, no importa si metemos pasado o futuro. Okay. Um, I need one more example, please. Okay. Hi. A ver. Sí, sir, go ahead. I used to like restaurant La Movida, but I don't go there any longer. Okay, I used to like restaurant La Movida. La Movida. But I don't go there any longer. La Movida. You can say, but I don't go there any longer. I don't go there any longer or I don't go there anymore. Anymore, okay. Okay, nice. Good. And I think Fer wanted to give an example, right? Or uh, am I mistaken? Yader. Yader. Yader, okay. Now, I um, used... Go ahead. I used to hiking, but with the coronavirus, no longer. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, let me help you. Let's go ahead and fix something. I used to hiking or I used to hike? Hiking. Okay. So, yes. Now, if you use it as a noun, as the name of the sport, tienes que poner algo antes. Porque senderismo. I, I used, used to, to. I used to, to hike. Como verbo. Or I used to practice. I hiking. used to practice hiking. Mm -hmm. Good example. El hiking no lo podemos ocupar en vez de practice porque tiene ing. Así que okay. o lo usamos como verbo, I used to hike, o lo mantienes así, que es el nombre de la acción, pero tienes que poner un verbo siempre. I used to practice hiking, but now I don't, pero ahora no, but now I don't, because of coronavirus. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice, nice example. Now, we can also talk about other people. For example, my father used to have a library. Mi papá solía tener una librería. Okay. Um, my brother used to be in the army. Mi hermano estaba o solía estar en el ejército. But we can also talk about other people. Any questions so far? No. No? Okay. No. So keep it in mind because in a few minutes we're going to start providing our own examples and having a conversation. Let's continue with the example, with the video. Please mute your microphones. in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the, uh, it will no longer be in the past. And now it's going to be in the present. And that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't. And then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't use to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class.
let me go ahead and give another example here I'm gonna say I didn't use to collect anything but I do now there we go and there is one last way on how to express negative statements and that is using never used to and it's quite similar so let me give you an example about this I never used to play sports okay, but now I play every day so we can also make negative statements using never used to okay so the subject plus never used to and that's gonna follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complement exists I never used to play sports I never used to worry about money I never used to play sports but now I play tennis just like you see on the example there and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Alrighty, my friends. So let's double check this other part. Now, who can I have a question. Me? Go ahead. Uh, what's the difference uh, between used, uh, didn't, used to, and mm -hmm. never used to? Or in, in, in what case? I have to, to, to use one of them. Okay, that's a good question. I would say that you can use them interchangeable, interchangeably. I would say okay. that there's no difference. Yo nunca solía jugar, o yo no solía jugar. Now, I would recommend you to use depends. If you never did it, use never. Si nunca lo hiciste, ocupa never. Pero, por ejemplo, um, let me see if I can find an example. I didn't use to dance. Yo no salía a bailar, pero un par de veces me hicieron mover el bote. Entonces, uh -huh. yo ocuparía I didn't use to. Okay. ¿Sí? Porque no significa que nunca lo haya hecho en su vida, sino que usted no lo hacía. Okay. Did I answer your question? ¿Le contesté la pregunta? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, guys, um, as you can see, we have the positive statements right here. Which is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre este y este? Who can tell me what the difference is? The Hello, first no? example uh, <laughs> is for um, tell one thing that I don't used to 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 be or to be or to do mm -hmm. or to do ah, okay uh, and the second one mm -hmm. is for things that uh, things I used to do exactly yes very good that's pretty much it el used to es yo solía hacer tal cosa yo solía nadar yo solía correr yo solía ir al gimnasio y luego la rodilla vea ya no más now, didn't used to, es que usted no solían hacer nada de eso, como no lo hacían. Now, grammatically, there's a difference. Complement, complement. Tenemos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Yes. Verb in the present, verb in the present, lo mismo. Subject, subject. So, si ustedes se fijan, todo es lo mismo excepto esto. Didn't use to, uh -huh. y aquí tenemos used use to. to. Now, to. I don't know if you remember, in English, if you say, for example, I didn't um, eat. When you use did, did the very same person. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. ¿Se acuerdan de eso que lo vimos en las clases pasadas? I didn't eat. Mantenemos el verbo en base porque estamos ocupando el auxiliar didn't. Ya sea el auxiliar did o didn't, el verbo va a ir en base. Entonces, por eso, señores, la única diferencia entre afirmativo y negativo es esto. 
didn't use. Todo lo demás es exactamente lo mismo. So, let's go ahead and, and work with a couple of examples. Vamos a poner un, un par de ejemplos. Acá, en este espacio. How do you say, yo solía jugar fútbol? I used to play football. Mm -hmm. I used to play. In English, it's going to be soccer. Porque si decimos okay. fútbol, para ellos okay. es la NFL. Okay. ¿Y cuál sería la negativa? I didn't use to play soccer. I didn't use to play soccer. To play soccer. That's it. So, my recommendation will be the following. Mi recomendación va a ser la siguiente. Cuando ustedes estén trabajando con este tipo de estructuras, lo más fácil es compararlas y pasar la misma oración de afirmativo a negativo. ¿Ok? Porque los cambios son mínimos y así ustedes van practicando la estructura. Is there any question? Esta clase viene algo cargada de, de material. Is there any question? No. For the moment, no. No. Ok, now, how do we ask? Vamos a, por motivo de tiempo también, va, no vamos a ver el video de las preguntas. Lo vamos a hacer de un solo. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la estructura? Aquí, aquí, aquí está la casa. De pregunta. Yes, no question. Using, did you, did you, did you, did you play soccer? Ahí está. Did you use to? ¿Por qué ponemos use en, en base? Porque tenemos el auxiliar. Play soccer. That's it. And what is the answer for affirmative? Yes. Yes, I did. I did you? Yes, I did. I did. And the negative? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, no, I I didn't. didn't. Right? Easy or simple, not easy. So my friends, this is what we're going to do. For the next 30 minutes, we are going to practice this structure. However, I know. Yes, I'm going I'm going to do something right here. However, I wanted to practice a little bit more before we do this. Okay. Let me go ahead and share this for you. And I'm going to send these documents here. Use two. Give me examples with affirmative, please. Mm -hmm. I used to spend a lot of time playing video games. Nice. I'm going to write it down here. No, mira lo que te Give me a second. Okay. I used to spend a lot of time playing video games. Video games. Now, ¿por qué ponemos playing aquí? No es acción continua, es el nombre de la acción. Este es un noun y es parte del complemento. Okay? Good job. Give me another one. I need a set of five examples. I used to ride a bicycle. Okay, I used to ride a bicycle. And, at the uh, park. At the park. Nice. I used to ride a bicycle at the park. Remember the compliment. But now I don't because, and you explain why. Give me another example changing the subject, please. Mm -hmm. He used to played chest to play chess chest chest es pecho acá chest oh, but, uh, esto chest sería, ajá, esto sería pecho ah. con t al final ajá. y chess el deporte ajedrez ajá. es con doble s ah, ok ajá, chess nice chess. you see if you participate si ustedes participan ahí se, se van aprendiendo cositas bye guys let me give you another advice. Um, cuando nosotros estamos haciendo oraciones, muchos de nosotros queremos sacar la oración completa y de un solo. Y ahí es donde nosotros empezamos a pensar. Y a veces es como... Give me a second. 
y a veces es como muy difícil sacar toda la oración de un solo. ¿Ok? So, mi consejo es, sobre todo, sobre todo ustedes que están entrando a una etapa intermedia, no se compliquen. Si la estructura dice sujeto, used to, verbo, pues hagámoslo así. Deme un sujeto. Give me a subject. Cualquiera. Lo primero que se les venga a la mente. It. It. Ok. Parte, it yeah, used to. Um, Ajá, uh, verb, cualquiera. Que le pegue al it. I used to... Stay. Ok. Is to be quiet. Ah, vaya. Pero estamos ocupando it, ¿no? Ok. Que puede ser un, un animal. Uh -huh. Puede ser un semáforo. It, it used to bark. Ok, nice. It used to bark. To. Solía ladrar. ¿Quiénes ya sabían cómo se dice ladrar? No, I don't know. Uh -huh. Bark. Entonces, así es que nosotros vamos sacando vocabulario que normalmente no ocupamos. Porque si queremos sacar la pregunta de un solo, vamos, I used to sleep, I used to eat, y no vamos a pasar de esos verbos. Entonces, ahí va saliendo. Deme otro sujeto. I don't know. Um, they. They, ajá, pero they... ¿Quién es? My mom and my dad. Um, I don't know. Oh. Bonnie and my Clyde. Friend. My boss. My, my boss. Used ah, to go. está. My boss. El que todos queremos. <clears throat> my boss. <laughs> ¿Qué my sigue? Boss en la estructura. Go. I used to. Va, espérame, espérame, espérame. Casi, casi. casi. My, my boss. My boss. Used to. Used to. Used to. Used to. Ah, used to. Be angry. Ok. <risa> tenemos go to the beach y tenemos be angry. Be angry. Ahí está. Cuando ustedes hubieran pensado así de pronto, ah, fíjate que mi jefe solía ser enojado. Entonces aquí es donde va saliendo más vocabulario. We're going to practice a couple more. Two more. Give me another subject. Cualquiera. Lo primero que es el chubaca. Um, my aquí, family. My family, ok. My family. ¿Qué sigue en la estructura? Used to. Used to. Used to. Ajá. ¿Verbo? Cualquiera. Dream. No importa. Dream. Dream. Used to dream. Va. ¿Qué solían soñar? With a farm. With a new car. Ok. Nice. Nice. Mi familia solía soñar con un auto nuevo. Entonces acá, la lógica nos dice que es with. Pero es dream about. Oh. Ya ven cómo se va aprendiendo. Dream about, soñar con. Entonces, my family used to dream about having. Vacation for one month. Ajá. About having, tener a new car. My family used to dream about having. Por, este es otro tema, pero ¿por qué ponemos having acá? Tener. Porque, ajá, es, y no es el verbo About. tener, es acerca de tener el nombre de la acción. Vamos a ocupar having porque después de las preposiciones, si viene una acción entre comillas, lo tenemos que poner ING. Ahí vayan anotando, gerundio después de preposiciones, gerunds after prepositions. Nice. ¿Ven la diferencia de los ejemplos? Give me one more, the last one. Any subject. We. We, okay. Mm, yes, I like it, but give me something else. Algo que salga un poquito de lo común. We often used to have barbecues. We often used to have barbecues. Barbecues, yes. We can definitely, we can definitely use that one. I'm not going to use often because of the structure, though. Para, para no sacarnos de la estructura ahorita. Pero sí se puede. We used to. Uh -huh. Sí se puede. We used to have... To have barbecue. barbecues. Nice. Bye, guys. So, remember that tip. No esperen sacar todo de un solo. Háganlo así para que vayan descubriendo más. ¿Ok? Now, what is the structure for negative statements? Subject. Uh -huh. Subject plus... Did, I didn't. 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 Uh -huh. didn't. didn't. 
used to, used to, used to didn't, last verb, last verb, last complement, last complement. Last complement. Last complement. Nice. So, le quitamos el use. How do you say, yo no solía pasar un montón de tiempo jugando videojuegos? I didn't use to spend. I didn't use to. I didn't use to. I didn't use to spend a lot, a lot of time playing video games. Playing video. How do you say, yo no solía montar una bicicleta en el parque? I, I, didn't, I didn't use, use to, ride to, to, to ride a bike. Park. Mm -hmm. Mira lo que pasa. I didn't use to ride a bicycle at the park. Mm -hmm. Prácticamente cambiamos. Eso es lo único que cambiamos. ¿Él solía jugar ajedrez? ¿Él no solía jugar ajedrez? He didn't use to play chess. He didn't use to play chess. He didn't use to play chess. Now, um, él no solía ladrar. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't use, use to bark. To bark. To bark. Ok. It didn't use, use to bark. To bark. Use to bark. Use Correct. To bark. Exacto. Esto es una gran paja generalmente, pero pongámoslo. Mi jefe no solía ser enojado. My, my boss, boss didn't, used, didn't to used to be angry. angry. To to my boss angry. didn't used to be angry. Ajá, pero ahora, pero ahora sí lo es. Acuérdense que si ustedes dicen él no solía, o sea, significa que ahora sí. Ah. El chucho no solía ladrar, ahora sí. Él no jugaba ajedrez, ahora sí. Acuérdense que ahí va como la contraparte. Mi familia no solía soñar en tener un nuevo vehículo. My family didn't use to me faltaba el to. Use to. Fix a mistake. And the last one. No solíamos tener barbacoas. We didn't use to have barbecues. We didn't use to have barbecues. So, um, let me tell you something, guys. Yo sé que hay un, una curva de aprendizaje, pero que me digan que la estructura es complicada, no lo es. No digo que ustedes, pero muchos lo, lo ocupan de excusa. ¿Saben qué es complicado? El vocabulario. Y saber qué decir, saber cómo expresarse. Porque las estructuras son simples. No fáciles, pero simples. Okay? Now, what is the structure for um, questions? ¿Cuál es la estructura para preguntas? Yes, no questions. Did you? Did you used to? Okay. Did subject? Did you? Subject. You too. Plus verb. Plus complement. Lo mismo. Solo le dimos vuelta y le quitamos el use. So, solías jugar. Solías pasar un montón de tiempo. Now I need volunteers to fix the first one. Just one person. Yo, yo, yo. Who's yo, yo, yo? Andrea. Andrea, then Gabriel, okay? Andrea first. Then Gabriel for the next one. Mm -hmm. How do you make okay. this a question? The, did I used to spend a lot of time playing video games? Nice. And please don't forget the question mark. Okay. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Next one. Sir? Did you used to be good at the English when you were young. Excellent question. Did you used to be good at English when you were young? Yes. Yo le daba copia a mis cheros. Ellos me daban copia en otras cosas. Okay. Nice. <laughs> but how do we make this one? Ahora pasemos esta en pregunta. Esta justamente que tenemos acá. It was a great example. Did I bicycle at the park? Did I? Did I use? Did I use to? I used to ride a bicycle at the park. Nice. And the question mark at the end. Next one, please. Okay. Did he Did used he to play used chess? To buy chess? Uh -huh. Did he, he, he used, used to play chess? To play chess. To play chess. Nice. Next one. Did, Did he, he used, used to, to bark? 
Did it used to bark? Y aquí ustedes le pueden meter complemento. Did it used to bark? At night, si quieren. Did it used to bark at night? Did it used to bark when someone came to the house? Etc. Next one. My boss used to be angry. Did my, my boss, boss, did my boss, boss be angry? used to be angry? Mm -hmm. Did my boss used, used to, to be, be angry? angry? To be angry. Nice. Next one. Did my, did my family, family, family used to bring about having, 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 having a, a new car? car? Nice. And the last one. Did, did we used to have, to have a barbecue? barbecue? Did we used to have barbecues? Nuevamente, pueden, ya una vez dominan esto, al final casi siempre van las expresiones de tiempo. Casi siempre, on weekends. On weekends. On weekends, si quieren. On Sundays, los domingos. On Saturday nights, las noches de los sábados. On Friday nights. Y ahí ustedes van jugando con el complemento. So, Before we finish, what are the answers? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Or no, I didn't. So, acaba el sujeto. Yes, sujeto. Did or no, sujeto. Didn't. Si nos preguntan con we, ¿con qué vamos a contestar? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. If we or ask, we no, did. we don't. Or no, oh, we didn't. didn't. We didn't. Uh, didn't. didn't. Exactly. Si nos preguntan con I. Yes, I, yes, did. I, did. I did. did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Porque es una pregunta como que la, nos la hacemos y, y yo solía hacer tal cosa. Ah. Sí, hombre, yo solía o no, no solía. Okay. Did you? What is the answer? I Exactly. Yes, you did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. No, I didn't. I did. Okay, no, I didn't. so with your right hand on your heart, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Hi, I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what in the interrogative we um, delete letter D in the word use? Oh, nice question. We delete the D. Because we cannot use a verb in past when we have the auxiliary did, whether is in affirmative or whether is in negative. So, tanto en simple simple past como con esto, si tú tenés el auxiliar did, el verbo va a ser en verbo, en base. ¿Por qué? Porque solo esto ya te está dando el pasado. Ya está conjugado en pasado. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es el pasado de do? Did. 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 Entonces ahí está ya. Como en los negativos. Tú ya tienes el did en pasado, el verbo lo ocupas en base. ¿Ok? Oh, ok, thank you. You're welcome. Good. Any other question? No? Seguro? Ok, ok. Hablen ahora o callen para siempre. <laughs> yes, I have one. Go ahead. Uh, when we watched the video, uh -huh. they made two examples in a negative statement, I guess. Uh -huh. And he deleted the preposition to. Uh -huh. uh, why? In which one? Let me look for it. For example, uh, he used... Let me see. Uh, I didn't use follow. It's for the verb. Mm, let me look for it because we shouldn't eliminate that. No lo deberíamos de eliminar, pero déjeme verificar si es algo que yo estoy pasando o es un error. In which one? I didn't use to... Adelante un poquito más. Uh -huh. Está jugando con lo mismo. Va ahí. 
I didn't use follow politics. Pero el too. Is for the verb or what is the different? Okay, give me a second. I'm con aquí en esto de acá. Sí, I didn't use donde está el example collect. where it, I they, didn't use collect. Ah, aquí I didn't use it's, collect. It's a mistake. Anything. Yes, it's a mistake. When we use ah. didn't, I didn't use to. Porque la estructura es diferente. Ahora, um, Sí, no, tiene que ser un error ahí. It must be a mistake. Because there are other ways. For, for example, I used to, si nosotros lo hacemos, es que no los quiero confundir con eso, porque son tres cosas que se parecen. I used to, ah, tenemos, um, used to, son cosas diferentes. Y aquí siempre sería used con el to. So, así que no, no sé, tiene que ser un error eso. Okay. okay. It's a mistake. We cannot use it without to. Okay, all the time? Yes. It's used to. Yes. Okay. Porque es la estructura. Look at here, I used to, did I used to, yes, I used to, didn't used to, used to. Siempre va con to. Quizás se le fue ahí a José um, en el video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So, my dear friends, um, we have 10 minutes. What I need you to do right now, I'm going to send all of this to the WhatsApp group. We're going to open up the, the, the groups, and I want you to have conversations. Ask about your past. Pregúntense acerca de, de su pasado. No sean tan meque, vea que hay cosas que no tienen que salir, pero preguntan cositas normales. All right? So, okay. go ahead and accept the invite. Espero que el tema les haya quedado claro. Hoy lo único que queda es practicarlo. Faltando tres minutos, vamos a regresar y voy a sacar un par de víctimas. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Group five. Okay, so Romulo's account is actually stuck. Claudia, can you hear me? Romulo, Sara, Caesar. Okay, Jose is alone in this group, so let's move him. Sara is alone too. I, Jose, we're going to move it to group four. Group seven.
can Hey, can you hear me, Caesar? Yes, but I have problem with internet. But now I not to scrape, but I think Romulo Romero is Yep. Creo que se metió en dos cuentas. I think he got two accounts. Yeah. That's why I'm yeah. verifying that no one is alone. Hay varios que están como pegados. And yes, and I, I tried to speak in another break room, mm -hmm. and I closed, but anybody right. talk? Nobody generally, talk. Uh -huh, generally, nobody talking in break room mm -hmm. now, but yesterday is, is good. Yes, I sent you another another link so you can join another group. Okay, but mm -hmm. yes, I lost I lost the the final class, but I tried to study in in the online web. Okay, fantastic. If you have any question about the web, don't hesitate and text me. If I have time, no. I'm gonna help you out. No worries. I I have a question about this web. Go ahead. Is it possible? If I check another class, for example, or is necessary only in in my class, or I have an option to check another class. When you say another class, do you mean another level? Yeah, I think yes, or a, a basic or 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 the same level. Oh. Uh -oh. It is always the, the, the only level that you have access to is the level that you are signing up for. Okay. Is necessary to approve or to pass? Yes. You need 80% 80, okay. 80 uh, score. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you guys a reminder about that. Okay. Okay. When, they, when I start or when I uh, check the site in the first time, I, I have the option all the course, all the, all the level. Mm, okay. Uh, and, per, uh, perhaps it was, um, <laughs> perhaps it was a mistake. It was good for you because you were able to practice, but normally yes, you, but, you only have one. But if not, if I not pass, is, is, is the problem, I think. Yes. I need to pass some, some course. Yep. You need 80%. So okay. You can, so you can approve the course and be registered for the next one. It is, okay, okay. I try to attend only for a ten class. You have a point. Um, classes for, classes are more like a support than support. Yes. You need to to pass in the online site. In the mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. And okay, in the yeah. classes is where we provide support. So if you have any doubt or if there's okay. a topic that you don't really understand after watching the video or checking the material, that's what we are here for. So you can, so we can break it okay. down a little bit more and explain more. Yes, for me it's, it's the best, the class, but that I take the exam in the site and, mm -hmm. and I do a two or three exam and I send the, the answer. Okay, no, and that's good, that's good. You only this, you uh -huh. can move um, as as far as you want on the website. Okay. So that's open. Okay. You can if, if a topic is easy for you, then go ahead and complete the assessment. You move to the next. Okay. I check uh, today the video about the nouns, the pronouns, and the singular nouns and the plural nouns, and it's a good advice about. Uh, about your video in the in the YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, it's thank a, you. It's a good tip. It's a good tip. And for example, for the nouns who are exceptions. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes. 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 So, it, and that's common, but you need to memorize these these nouns. Correct. You need to memorize yes. them. So yeah, I'm, it's I'm a really, lot. I'm really glad yes. that you that you like the videos. Um, I'm gonna try yes. to upload content that is useful for everybody. So thank you for that, Caesar. No, no, thank you. Okay, very good. So we're gonna be getting everybody back so we can double check the structure. Nice, nice.
in 19 seconds, everybody's gonna be here. Okay. 19, 14, 13. So, hello guys, welcome hello. back. I need a volunteer, please. Just one. Okay. Sure. Okay, nice. Andrea, thank you very much. Hey, Andrea, did you used to play basketball when you were a child? No, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't like to play any sport. Okay. And <laughs> what? What did you used to do? Uh, I used to sing. When I was a child. Okay. Uh, yes. Nice. Good. What did you use to sing? Uh, I like to sing. Uh, I use. I use. I use like to sing. Así sería. I used to like. I used to like singing. I used to like singing. To like singing. Uh, any type of music. Regular. I use to sing at the church and at the um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? concursos a contest ¿Cómo? contest contest mm -hmm. contest a contest at the school okay nice good Andrea nice job now select another victim please uh, okay I select uh, David. David. Hi. All right. Hey, David, did you used to study when you were at school? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't used to study English, but now I, I, I really study English. Okay, good. Nice. And um, did you used to be good at math? So, uh, ser bueno en mate? Well, I I used to be uh, and also in math. I don't know what what say is most Um, I was a regular student. I was a regular student. Oh, more or less, no. Not really. They don't normally use more or less. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But the things that you're describing yourself, I was a regular student. I was a good student. I was a terrible student. So, adjectives to describe. Okay. <laughs> All right, my friends. It is 10 p.m. So, I want to say thank you very much for logging in. There are no classes tomorrow. Mañana no hay clases. Woo! No me vayan a conectar, que no voy a estar aquí. Um, desde lunes a jueves. <laughs> Couple of recommendations. Trabajen en la, en la web, porque para que ustedes pasen necesitan el 80%. Vayan a trabajando si es posible a diario. La clase es un soporte para que el contenido de la, de la web sea más digerible o que ustedes puedan clarificar ciertas dudas que solo viendo el video no, no, no pueden clarificar. ¿Ok? Um, si tienen alguna pregunta, mándenme en el ejercicio 3.11, en el literal 1 o literal A, tengo problemas. No me diga, mire, solo tengo problemas y me mandan la foto, que ahí estoy como loco buscándole en toda la plataforma. Entonces, yo, solo, yo, solo, yo solo comentarle de que me gustó que fuera escribiendo ahora, porque así yo logro corregir lo que yo escribo. Uh -huh. me, me gusta esa forma. Ok. Always, thank you, thank you. always you write. Mm -hmm. in the, in the chat. Siempre trato de escribir la mayoría de cosas en el chat para las personas que, que aprenden visualmente, para los que escuchan, you know, listening, entre diferentes tipos. Así que me gusta, gracias por su participación, trabajen en eso y la otra semana vamos a empezar con, ya les digo, bla, 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 bla. vamos a tener un poco de... Oh, perdón, estaba viendo el avanzado 3. Ya casi lo condeno. Ok, lunes vamos a, a estar trabajando con count and uncount nouns. Um, si ustedes se fijan, les mandé un link. Esto es so solamente un soporte que yo personalmente hago para ustedes, mis estudiantes y gente en general, eh, acerca de los nouns. 
Si les funciona, pues véanlo. Si no, hay otros tipos de video. Pero vayan viendo también cuáles son los contables y no contables. Ese es el tema que vamos a ver el lunes. Así que, guys, thank you very much. My name is Alejandro Narbona. On behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Get out of here. Enjoy your weekend. Uh -huh. See you Monday. Thank you. 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 Thank